Hello, this is uh, Dr. Raj Singh. I'm a medical director at uh, Healer in Las Vegas. Today I want to talk to you about hematospermia or blood in the semen. This is actually a condition that is not that uncommon and when men experience it, it can be really alarming and it's very scary and intimidating. So today's video is all about what it is and what you can do about it. So keep watching. Hematospermia, we also sometimes call it hemospermia. What it means is appearance of blood in the semen. Sometimes it can be fresh blood, looks bright red, and sometimes it's uh, digested blood or a little bit old blood and may appear as you know, brownish in color. Most men will notice it after masturbation. And uh, when you do notice it, it's, it's very scary and it's very intimidating. So let's go into some of the causes of what causes it and when you should seek medical care. So the cause of hematospermia or hemospermia is generally a broken capillary or a damaged blood vessel. Most of the time, it's nothing to be concerned about. So if you do experience it, generally it should go away on its own without any intervention in about two to four weeks. I've also seen it in men who are taking blood thinners, could be warfarin, coumadin, aliquis, or sometimes even aspirin or plavix. So any of those blood thinner medication which makes it a little bit easy to bleed can also produce blood in the semen. Again, nothing to be concerned about, generally goes away on its own. You can also experience it after a heavy workout or a very strong or brisk exercise, especially if you're using a lot of your pelvic muscles or you're lifting a lot of weight. Again, that extra pressure, especially the abdominal pressure, sometimes can create uh, stress on these tiny blood vessels, sometimes within the prostate, sometimes the urethra, and can cause the bleeding. Again, two to four weeks, this should go away on its own. There are certain conditions that you need to be aware of. One is sexually transmitted infections. So if you're experiencing blood in the semen, but at the same time you also have other symptoms, could be you know, burning while you pee, or a little itching or pain at the tip of the penis, then it could mean that you have a sexually transmitted infection. In that case, we generally have to give you antibiotics. Probably could be gonorrhea, sometimes it's chlamydia, or it could be another sexually transmitted infection. Men who are over the age of 40, as you know, the prostate cancer risk does go up. So if the, you have persistent blood in the semen, sometimes, sometimes it can indicate an underlying prostate cancer. So in that case, you do need to see a doctor, get a prostate exam done, get a PSA checked, and get that taken care of. The, other than that, exercise, totally benign, being on blood thinners, totally benign, abnormal, sexually transmitted infections, prostate cancers. Now rarely I've also seen it in men who just have an enlarged prostate. We call it BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia and you can also have blood in the semen. But in conclusion, blood in the semen is not pathologic in most cases. Most of the time it is a normal occurrence that can happen from a damaged blood vessel and will generally get better on its own. So wait two to four weeks if you don't have any other symptoms. But if it is after that, then you may need to see a doctor to get a tested for urinary infection or a sexually transmitted infection or prostate cancer, all of those things. So that's all the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like the content, please do not forget to hit like and subscribe. If you have any follow-up questions in this blog, post your question in the comments below and we'll respond to it. Thank you again for watching. This is Dr. Singh. Take care. Bye-bye.